Hello, how are you? My name is Alejandro Sandoval, and this is the Solo Negocios video blog with a summary of the Solo Negocios Bulletin for July the 11, 2018. Today, the Mexican peso got depreciated, and worldwide markets, specifically the stock exchange market, got down. And this is like a red day, red Wednesday, given the um, change in the mood of the United States when today they threatened China to impose new round of tariffs, a third one, for $200 billion, which implies an escalate of the trade war. And now fears for a slowing down of the global growth are firmly, are basically getting uh, active. Aversion to risk grow given this trade war, uh, this uh, situation with uh, the United States was retaliated by China. They said that if they, in the, in the US, they impose these tariffs for $200 billion, they will do so against the US. And now, after a third round, if this occurs, we will have really a problem with inflation, slowing down the economy worldwide, and obviously the oil markets. We will see what happens in the near future. By the way, oil went down strongly, given this situation, by two sides. One, this um, aversion to risk makes the US dollar increase its value. The Bloomberg, Bloomberg dollar spot index grew 0.74%, and this makes uh, like a damage to the oil market. But also, the oil market went down because if we have this weird scenario where Libya had uh, a slowdown in their production, OPEC is trying to increase its production, Venezuela has down uh, decreased production, Iran will decrease their production given the sanctions of the United States. Uh, the United States is growing their production, the world demand is growing, but out now with this strong dollar and also this trade war, which will diminish the situation of the world trade, well, obviously, it could cool down the demand and then make it hard for the oil markets to keep up a good pace. Uh, raw materials fell uh, in, all, in all ways. Metals like gold, platinum, silver, among others, all of them went down. Today it was also reported inflation to the producer. It went up 3.4%, the highest since to November 2011, and raises expectations for a new rate hike for the Federal Reserve or by the Federal Reserve in September and another one in December. This will increase the price of money. This will decrease for example, in terms of Mexico, the differentiation with the Mexican uh, rate, and it will decrease or depreciate the Mexican currency. In other data, the support is in a range from 1850 to 1860, and resistance for 1930 in the wholesale market. The spread is the same as yesterday. It, it, didn't, it didn't got an impact. Let's remember that we talk about the spread because of the banks, but really banks offering uh, US dollars into their market directly implies that they have funds available from maybe the previous day or more time. If this is the case, that's why there's no change in the in the spread or even in the rate for the for the US dollar national average in banks. But tomorrow it will got uh, an impact for sure. Futures increase again 0.43 percent and it got worse. And the linear trend, basically, for the 12 months, uh, past 12 months and the future 30 days, it's going down. The Mexican peso is, looks depreciated for the following 30 days. And even with the 30-day scenario, compared to the past 30 days, where we have an appreciation trend, the truth is that we don't see much of a haven spot if this trade war keeps escalating and is not detained. The worst part of this of the scenario is that the United States will not win this war. I mean, no one will, but specifically the U.S. will worsen their share of deficit or surplus in trade terms, which nowadays is Trump lobbying in Europe to avoid a new uh, tariff rounds against the, United, the European Union. But the truth is that they will not meet those uh, goals, and obviously a retaliation and a continuous. Uh, in this trade war will keep up until someone stops the United States. That's the truth in this whole scenario. We'll have uh, more information tomorrow. Let's keep in touch. Thank you very much for your attention.